starting oh <laughs> i'm live i'm live all right how do i do this share to a group tag people i don't know how to do that so hope mandy hope uh mandy timmons if you can find hope get part for me and send her whatever i need to know because i have no fucking clue try another way of going live okay draw it oh hell no i ain't doing that okay I guess that's it. So I'll just sit here and wait. <laughs> oh, oh shit. All right. Hi, Hope. Nice. I don't know how to do this, guys. This is my first time. Jeff, do you see dead people? <clears throat> All right. So we're going to flip and do tarot card cartomacy readings. Only one. I don't know who this is for because it fell out. So we have somebody going through some heart-filling emotions right now. Um, who is feeling deceived and lied to today? Um, someone is feeling like they have a loss or a sadness. Um, maybe you lost your job. Maybe you're just feeling lonely. Maybe you're feeling dissatisfied within yourself or um, your relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see. What else? What else? Why is this person feeling sad? Um, feeling like they lost somebody. Feeling deceived. Feeling lied to. Feeling lonely. This is pretty fucked up. There's. It's only you. It's only. It's only you. Hope and Jeff came in to comment and said something mean. Of course. Of course. Two. So this has to do with opposing thoughts with the duality. Um, some kind of conflict. Someone uh, feels like that they're on a power trip. Um, they gained somebody, but they lost things it, as well. It's a learning process. It was some kind of ref, re, refuse, ref, bleh, refusal, reluctancy towards someone or, or some kind of partnership. Whether that be work, love, romance, what, whatever, banging. Love you too, Hoop. Oh, Jeff, you are still there? Why are you like on, you got a question? Should I ask? What do you want, what do you want to know, Jeff? Hope I, I'll do yours too quick. I'm not sure if this one resonates with you. You're feeling sad, lost, depressed, someone deceived you, someone decept, was deceptive, uh, de, they lied to you basically. Um, someone learned from this, they refused to follow whatever because that's not then i don't know jeff you have a question or what man no all right <clears throat> let's see you're just here for the show that's nice all right so nine so somebody's overcoming uh obstacles they were feeling stressed, stagnant. Oh, hell, that might be my card. Um, I'm nervous as fuck. I was reluctant to do this because I don't know about Facebook Live. Uh, but you learn. Uh, feeling not worthy of others or yourself. Um, tooting your own horn type of thing. Um, de but determined to finish, you know? All right, what else is going on? Why is this person feeling not worthy, stressed, stagnant? Like, like they're not worthy of... Fame, knowledge type thing. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, Jeff. I hear you. I hear you. We will not want anything to come out. All right. So we got somebody giving their time and energy to something that there is no, <clears throat> there's no solution. Uh, they're blocked. Uh, they can't see a way out because they're giving their time and energy to this. They, they feel cornered like they're stuck. They, they just can't get out. Why? Who's refusing this? Who's not worthy? Why do you feel like you're not worthy? Because we're all worthy. We just have to fucking up and do it. And who gives a shit what somebody thinks, you know? Who cares? Fuck them. Fuck them. Anyway. Why are you feeling blocked or cornered and there's no way out? You can't see a way out, but there's always a way out. Always. You're never really stuck. That's self-sabotage. We, we do that to ourselves all the time, you know? All right. 
So somebody gained has a lot of spades, a lot of oppositions, a lot of thoughts, decision, decisions, choices, things like that. So you you learned, you gained knowledge and wisdom. Someone deceived you, lied to you. It's a running thing here. Um, but somebody recovered from something. You found out who lied to you, who stole from you, who deceived you. But not again. You know, you were frustrated. But you recovered. Eh, you're over it. Whatever. Forever ending, there is a beginning. Ups and downs, in and out, black and white, yin and yang. It's all our inner and outers. Let's see. What else is going on? If somebody has a question, anybody have a question? Mandy? Uh... Zach, I see you're watching. Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, oh, the early bird gets the worm. All right, let's see. Let's switch to a different deck. Let's do uh, spirit messages, what somebody needs to know, not what they want to necessarily know. All right, Hope, let me do your spirit. Let me do a spirit message for you. And you know what they say. Like I said, spirit tells us what we need to know and what we need to hear, not what we want to know and what we want to hear. All right. What does hope need to know? What does hope need to hear from spirit? All right, let go. Let go of the past. It's time to move on. Let go of what used to be. You know, maybe... Before you were this, this, and this, but you're no longer that. Things change. Roles change. We all change. We grow. It's soul growth. We got to go through the bad to get to the good, you know? For every ending, there is a beginning, and you'll hear me say it all the time. Oh, my God, Ray, why are you watching? You're going to wake me out. <sighs> my freaking husband, he's my number one fan. Hey, babe. All right, Hope, what else? Oh, oh. All right. So be vulnerable. If you're vulnerable, things will come to you. If you need help, just ask. We also got memories. Think about the good time. I think this has to do with the kids um, because now you're like an empty nester essentially. But just sit back and, and remember, watch the videos and look at the pictures when the kids were younger. You know, what is that called? Like nostalgia? Mm, reminiscing. What else? I think I dropped it. Oh, I did choices we all have choices and whatever choices we make will determine the outcome of those free will decisions and choices all right so be careful all right hope one more for spirit message and then we'll move on to a quick tarot read okay so nervous and i don't know why i have to prep because i'm going to be debating the wise hypocrite here very soon so jeff painter i'm i'm prepping dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Hope. One more spirit message. Soul power. Know that you are special, that you are a great manifester. You reap what you sow. Even if something bad happens, you take that bad and turn it into the positive. Those are all learning experiences. That's what we're here for. That's the karma. That's the, the wheel of life. Okay? So let's go into a tarot reading quick. We'll do past, present, future. Mandy, I'll read, I'll read you next, okay? I'm going to do Hope quick because I already set my intentions with her. And you never know. It could resonate with you because when people do hundreds of uh, like group readings, a lot of people take whatever message and it, and it resonates with them. So let's see what we get. I'm going to use these cards, uh, the, <clears throat> the Housewives Tarot, and then I'll also be using the Tarot by Number. All right, so just bear with me. All right, so Hope, we'll do right quick what's going on. Because, Jeff, what do you call this? The Barnum effect. That don't make sense to me, but you never know. All right. Three of Cups. So, Hope, for you, you need to go out and hang out with Beth, me, get involved with your family and friends again, go to a cookout, um, enjoy your free time to yourself. I think you're just going through the empty nesters thing because you don't know what to do because you haven't done anything with your life before other than working and kids. And that's rough, believe me, I know. You know, but that'll be okay. That's the ending of, 
um, being like a stay-at-home mom and whatnot, so you get to move on and learn. Maybe you can go back and, and further your education so you you don't, you know, you're not just a manager. You could be a fucking regional or district district manager. I don't know. It's time for a change, you know? Your life's changing. You're evolving. Have fun. Love yourself. Go take a spa day. Hang out with friends. Even if they sit on your deck, it's still hanging out. Queen of Pentacles. So, again... Pentacles have to do with like money and, and things like that. Materials. You, you can you could sit back comfortably and just chill. You don't need to go anywhere or do anything. Have people come to you. But you got to reach out and invite them, you know. Because you've, you've always put the kids first. You always put Mike first. It's, it's time for hope. Whether and hope, I mean in yourself, self-love. Um, whether that be spa day, getting your nails done, getting a petty, whatever. Go do that for yourself. One more. Hope. And then I'll throw in the tarot by number quick. Get some clarifiers. All right. What else does Hope need to know? Oh, we got it right there. Ace of Swords. Do not rush into any crazy impulsive decisions, choices. When you, when someone offers you something, take a minute to actually think before you react or answer whether you want that or not. Okay. And Jeff, yes, I know it's vague, but these readings can take anywhere from, well, Mandy, you know, they can go anywhere from 10 minutes up to 35, 40 minutes. So let me see, Hope, what else? Let me get some clarifiers. What can you do to overcome these obstacles, Hope? Whatever's going on. I feel like you're anxious, but it's kind of like almost over or whatever. I don't know. I can't really explain it. It's like right here. Oh, God. All right. Let's hope you know. Just be careful. I keep seeing this. Did someone offer you something, maybe, like a new job, a new way of doing a situation? <sighs> something. Because that's what I keep getting, and it's like, it's like you're not sure which piece of the pie you want to take or the way you want to cut that cake. So what you need to do is all these obstacles that you've been learning from, uh, you need, <laughs> that's why this one came up about your choices and, and whatnot. Please, please, your living situation. See, ain't that weird? Oh, but Jeff, I guess, you know, there are 78 cards. So anybody's going to resonate with something that comes out. Isn't that what you said? But what a coinky dink, right? So anyway, be careful who you are showing your emotions to, really. Um, it's okay to let others know how you feel, but... Where they say a listening ear is a running mouth. And half the people that I know that you know are fucking lying, shysty individuals. So be careful. Um, it's going to be, there's a lot of disharmony going on right now. Okay? One more. Hold on. So do you want to know what you should do in that living situation or what? Okay. I didn't want to assume and insinuate, so just give me a sec. Just hope you do. Just hope you do. Let's see, Spirit says, new beginnings. If you if you feel good about it and it feels right to you, fucking do it. Because now's the, now's the time for that change. But hold on. Yeah, time and attention, attention to detail. You need to find out what your passions are. So it all goes back to loving hope, what hope wants, what hope needs. Uh, no one needs to rely on you anymore. This is You need to rely on yourself. And the only way that you can make that change is that self-love, self-worth, 
and then you'll have your soul growth and all these new positive things come to you and it's like scary especially if you've been with someone or been in the same location for 10 20 30 years or whatever moving on and 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 stepping out into unknown territory is fucking scary but you'll be fine because you know you overcame all these learning processes and obstacles and and you know what's wrong you know what's right so what you do with those free will decisions is going to be will be will play a major factor in what happens but if if i had to i would definitely say move out move on and if you need to move out and move on by yourself to move up in the world whatever the case may be to make you feel better you do what you gotta do okay all right mandy you're next um i gotta um shuffle the cards of course so Uh, uh. I've never done this to anybody, so just bear with me and I lost the card. Oh, the hermit. <clears throat> Hope, um, this is for you. Spirit just said, take some time for yourself. Um, you did, Like I said before, instead of looking out, look inward. Look to yourself and what you think the hermit is just taking time for you. Self-love get in the shower, sit in the tub, and just think about what you want to do. And also journaling, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, I, I am, I'm nervous as shit, man. I was like talking to myself and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to do it, but it's like, I got to do it. I got to get over this. That's one of my biggest things that I'm afraid of the unknown too, you know? Even though um, the universe and spirit gives me a pep talk on a daily, it scares the shit out of me because I don't like being rejected. I have an ego. You know what I mean? So it is. I ain't going to lie. I even told my husband not to watch me because I'm like, you're going to make me nervous. And then I got one of the biggest critics on there. Jeff, the wise hypocrite. Jeff, your time's coming though. Okay? Your time's coming. <laughs> All right. Stick this back in here. All right, Mandy, do you want generalized or what? Get my spirit messages ready. All right, I'm just going to do generalized, man. Is that okay? You know how it goes. All right, first off, Mandy... What does spirit have to tell you? What do you need to know? Not what you want to know. Okay. Hi, Ashley. Briar, thank you for tuning in, guys. I appreciate your support and love. And just so everybody knows, I'll be doing this at the family reunion. Might wig some people out, but that's okay. All right, Mandy, I'll do general. First, I'll start with the spirit message. Hi, Ash. This is so weird. All right. All right. So, Mandy, you got spirit coming in saying hello from heaven. Uh, what they say is, uh, hello, your loved ones from spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you and to prove to you that they're always with you. I got fucking chills up the wazoo, so I know this to be true. Those are called spiritual chills, people. All right. One more from Spirit Message Mandy. Hey, Ben, how are ya? Ground yourself. So that just goes back to grounding yourself, knowing you, loving Mandy. Don't, don't worry about anybody else or what anybody else has to say about you because in the long run, only you will be there for yourself, you know? It's good to have support and whatnot, but grounding yourself and being aware of you, your surroundings, your thoughts, emotions, that's all you need, okay? All right, so we're going to do a general. I'm going to use the tarot by number or a regular, regu bleh, regular playing cards. All right, Mandy. What's going on with Mandy? What does she need to know? What's going on in her situation? Hey, Rick. Oh, we got my husband's people up in here. 
We're all people, though, ain't we? We're all in it to win it together. All right, Mandy, so I'm not sure what's going on in your surroundings other than you got some people looking at you like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Minor friction, frictions. You got some uh, understanding, some comprehension of, you know, you're a little bit more aware of what's going on in that surrounding. And you also had one that came out you learned from that previous, we'll say emotional relationship that you had before you learned about the information about somebody. Uh, you learned not to make any feeling based decisions because that doesn't help impulse impulsive type things you need to listen to your gut because you already know you're feeling a little indecisive though about that situation right now i think i know what you want to ask me because it's in my head so let me just see if i can do it without being uh without letting other people know okay you know that's hard for me i'm not i try to be discreet but that doesn't work so you have a jackpot coming to you. Now, it's in spades, so of course, these have to do with uh, decisions, choices. Now, these are deep. This ain't like basic bitch shit. This is like deep, cutthroat type decisions and choices, okay? People will be affected. Uh, someone's being single-minded and on a mission, but this person that you're receiving grand support from is only giving you what you want to hear because... They know how to, I'm going to say, work this situation, okay? So, I have a pretty good feeling I know who it is. And again, I'm not going to say nothing. But you need to be careful about that change that you want to make, okay? I'm just going to tell you now. Oh, look at that. Because you already know uh, from the wisdom and knowledge that you gained from the previous relationship. And I mean, come on, another seven? Um, someone stole your confidence. Someone stole your limelight. That's sad. You're frustrated. They, they, they fucked you up, okay? And you're a little nervous about getting into this new one because you're scared. Okay, you want me to be blunt? So this person that's been chasing after you, I wouldn't do it. Whether they're friend, foe, whatever, I just, I, <laughs> take your time because this isn't the person for you. I'm serious. And I know that that's horrible to say, but it's the truth, man. And you're, and you're one of my really good friends. So just, this person is single-minded. This person just wants you all for themselves. Doesn't matter if they're good to the kids or not. It's, it's almost like a manipulation type thing. So, you know. Uh, it's like, it's like a thief in the night. Like they just want to come in and, 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 but not in a good way. You know, they want to sweep you off your feet. So I guess maybe like you don't see the real intention behind it type thing. Um, it's like theft by deception. That's the best way I can wing it. Okay. And this has to do with you. Look, another, another spade, another opposing thing. <laughs> Cutting out, cutting off, cutting people out, cutting people off. It's time for you. And you already know. Um, you have insights from the past relationship. Um, and you know what's good and what's not. Okay? Just get over it. Just, um, you have enough power in yourself like you've been doing. You've been single. You, you don't need anybody else. You really don't. Not at this time. It's okay to have friends and support. But I want to jump in with this person that's been trying to get with you type thing. All right, let me do one more tarot type thing and see. Mandy, what else? We got two, so I'll give you two. All right. So, ah, six of cups. All right, that's a really good card, even though it was reverse and queen of cups. So to me, with all these other clarifying cards, let me do one more. Yeah. So it's like you have all these, um, must be nice. Nah, not really, because I'm happily married, but you know. Um, you have all these, like, chicks after you. Damn. Damn. Now listen. Don't forget, just because you got all these choices, you can't be indecisive. All right? Um, you should write a pros and cons list when you are ready to venture out. Who's going to work best for you? All right? Hey, Brooke. 
And the Queen of Cups. Oh, you look at this. You're just fucking sitting there. Look at that. Mmm. Chill. You don't need a man. You don't need a chick. You got your own money. You got your own car. You don't need nobody but Mandy. Yeah. See, Mandy? One more. Let me give you one more. Ooh, you are clever, aren't you? You know. See? Ooh. Yeah. Do you see this? See this kid? All right. Trying to dig into the candy dish at Halloween. Well, that's what that person is trying to do to you. So, again, don't do it. She's trying to uh, put her hand in that cookie jar and that don't. Don't fall for it. I don't, I'm going to have to like look at this person and do a full read and just get the energetic vibes from her, but I'm not too sure. All right. That was it for you, man. Anybody else? Why? Is there really a lag? Come on, Jeff. You want to do it? No? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do one more spirit message, and then I guess, since nobody wants to do it, I don't blame you guys. I'd be scared to get my shit out there, too. We are on the internet. So. Mm -mm -mm. Gratitude. Be grateful. Be grateful for what you have, whether it be a little bit or a lot. Uh, be appreciative. Be kind to yourself. Just be thankful. That should be my Mimoji Deli insight for today. You'll start to attract and manifest what you put out there. Oh my God, thanks Mandy. I got chills. What do you have to do for it to be done? Um, Ashley, all I need, uh, thanks Mandy. I appreciate the validation and I'm glad it resonated. Uh, we can talk later about it. I don't want to go, you know, full blown on <clears throat> Facebook. Uh, and Ashley, all I need you to do is just be open. If you want to do it, great. If not, that's okay too. I can do general or you have a certain question. We'll just, oh, there's Anthony. Oh, oh. All right, so breathe. Take a breath. All right, calm down. It's going to be fine. So, Ashley, what do you want to do? You want to just do like one or two card or whatever comes out? We can do that. It's not a big deal. Anthony, are you making fun of me? All right, Mandy, I will. Today is going to be a pool day, so I have to meet up with my bestie. And um, once my husband's off work, then we're going to head out. All right, I'll do general. I have to... Shuffle the cards, though, okay? Now, that was a piece of dust, Jeff. That wasn't spirit. That was dust. No, you just got excited when I rejoined. Uh, duh, Anthony, you're my kid. You're one of my biggest fans as well, of course. I was so scary, but you talked mom into it. Thank you. <laughs> I got good kids. Hi, Leah. All right, Ashley. Let's see what's going on. God, I feel like I just smoked a big ass fucking blunt. I got dry mouth like a bitch. <laughs> All right. All right, Ashley, this one's for you. All right, so it looks like you've been giving your grand support uh, to a certain situation. Um, whether that be your husband, but it's like you enjoy your cake lifestyle because you and your husband you're a team you worked hard for it okay you like have you like being able to have the fruits of your labor and there's nothing wrong with that sometimes being materialistic not in a bad way is a good thing it's okay to be proud of all your hard work and accomplishments shit you better be able to toot your own motherfucking horn because not everybody else is gonna do it for you you know how people are they're they like to be negative nancy's nobody likes to be positive to others i do but some of us are the exception to the rule, so what else? Yeah, 
giving your stability, giving your support because uh, you and your husband are a team. Um, so, you know, you go to work, you're the CFO of your home. It takes a lot to be a stay at home mom. And when you have part time, um, you have a cleaning business part time. And, you know, being a mom is fucking hard. So is being a husband. But when you have a great duality together, your husband treats you like you treat him. That's amazing. Not a lot of people have that and a lot of people want that. So kudos to y'all. I'm not saying that shit sweet all the time. Everybody has issues, but your issues are just fine. Okay, so let's see. So 10. So you must have overcame some kind of issue that you were y'all were going through. Um, something is behind you that was like a burden. Okay, uh, something ended. Some kind of big decision that somebody made failed now whether that be again these are examples business um maybe i don't know some kind of other work related relationship something like that maybe you wanted to get a different house for a client or from a client and it didn't it didn't work out not that it's your fault it just wasn't meant to be you know i gotta i just dropped a whole bunch of cards so let me just shuffle them quick. Yeah, you were feeling weighed down and burdened. Hi, Pam. Oh, yeah, and Pam, happy belated birthday. I don't know if I wrote on your wall. Um, who, uh, Ashley, who had an immature way of looking at a certain situation? I mean, that's what the cards are saying. So somebody was looking at uh, whatever obstacle in like, a, in like a childish way. All right, and immature, being immature. And you don't have to say anything because, you know, I know how it is. So someone was feeling weighed down, burdened, um, you know, things like that. All right, let's see. So again, overcoming and uh, rising above certain situations. All right. Someone was feeling dissatisfied about a situation, but now they're satisfied. You have a lot of prosperity, a lot of like material wealth coming in, whether that be 401ks, you know, like retirement. Um, I don't know, maybe you have a savings account that you can cash in on, I, something like that. Um, you rose above whatever shitty fucking situation. So when I say we're all powerful manifestors, that's exactly what we are. We reap what we sow. Um, based on the issues at hand and what we do with those decisions and choices will definitely affect the outcome of you know any situation because that's what happens we got to be careful how we think how we feel and how we react to situations seriously all right one more and i just had two fall out so we're going to go with those you can overcome these obstacles uh, with someone else, okay, because it's two, it's a duality, and you have learned and you will continue to learn from those learning things, okay? Uh, just be careful. Make sure you're planning. Plan on having delays, and that's it. That's the only bad thing from that because it's just a club, so that's like a, a, a working type card, you know? It, it, it's okay. Just wait. Things have to be delayed sometimes for the best to come of the situation. You know what I mean? It's like leaving your fucking beef stew in the crock pot all day because it tastes way better. Mine does anyway. And with extra beef bouillon. But anyway. So, and also you will be able to accomplish these things by giving your grand support to whether it be your partner, your business partner, just taking your time um, and you know, finding that balance, uh, being, just say, just say that you're bored being him, even though we know you're not, but just, we're going to use that as an example. You need to find something that you're passionate about. Get back into your hobbies, learn how to read tarot cards, um, you know, um, watch fucking videos, whatever. Just take time for yourself. Okay. All right. That's all I got for you, Ashley. Anybody else? Anthony, shall I read you? Pam? Brick? Anybody? And not you, babe. I can't I can't read you. I know you too too well. Uh, uh, uh. No. Alright. Was that was that that resonate with you, Ash? These are just like basic um sometimes when i do readings that i i do them anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes 
It just, it depends on the question, the situation. Everybody's different. I love it though. It's, it's pretty cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Does, you can read me if you want. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Ashley. Thank you. I, I appreciate your support. I feel a lot better. Thanks. All right, Anthony, you want mom to read you? All right. You're going to, hey, if mom reads you tomorrow, you're going to have to read my cards, okay? So let me tell you guys quick. My son knew I was like nervous, nervous. All right, Ash, cool. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so this morning I was really nervous and I kept bugging Anthony about, should I do it? I don't know how to do it. Because my kids are like my tech gurus and my husband. I have no fucking clue. And I can only watch so many YouTube videos. So anyway, Anthony reads auras. And I think it's pretty amazing because I asked him like five times this morning, Anthony, what color am I? Anthony, what color am I? So anyway, so I love you, Anthony, and I appreciate all your help. Okay, so Anthony, first card, giving your grand support. Ain't that funny? What a coinky dink, right? No such thing, just synchrosities. Um, you're smart. You're kind. You're loving. Um, you gave your grand support to me to make me feel better, to help me um, to feel better about doing uh, these tarot readings live because I was so scared like I and excuse me guys I don't mean to sound disgusting and TMI but I almost fucking shit myself because that's how nervous I was okay it's scary it's scary and I could talk to dead people and all kinds of shit and I still get scared about going live who the fuck gets scared about that I'm afraid of rejection guys I have an ego you know what I mean but anyway so Anthony you are a positive role model um, you are definitely a leader. You're very smart, kind, and compassionate. All right? Let's see what else. Uh, overcoming some kind of obstacles. Mm. Oh, independence. Are you, are, you, are you feeling satisfied because you helped your mom? That's okay. I'm proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself. You're very knowledgeable, Anthony. Um, don't be stressed. Okay, because you rose above a lot of issues. Remember at school this year? You're doing far better than what you were earlier in the year. Okay? And mom and Ray are so proud of you. I know that's corny, but get over it. I'm your mom. It's okay to have a weird mom. It makes it better for you. All right, what else, Anthony? What else do you need to know? What does Anthony need to know? Ready? Again, grant support is coming your way. <sighs> Gifts, positivity, leadership, anything and everything. Oh, and what's that mean, Aunt? I'm sorry, I missed it. Mom was focusing. You just, you like being a fucking, uh, you like being a leader, which I'm proud of you for that, but we know you're like, um, I don't even know the right word, but to say, yeah, <laughs> you're just, you're a king. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's do a spirit message quick, Anthony. Okay. Mom's hands are like so small. All right. What does spirit want to tell Anthony? Does Anthony need to know? Not what he wants to know. I have a feeling, Anthony, you're going to be helping mom way more than you want. Way more than you want. Oh, soul power and soul growth. So let me quick tell you what they said, Aunt. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So, Anthony, I'm going to go ahead and just say that you need to help mom get on here and read auras and teach others. Um, that way for your soul growth so you get more comfortable with all of your abilities. If you think mom wigs out, you actually help me. So when you help me, I can help you and we can learn from each other. Okay. But that's all I got. So, Aunt, you're done. 
Um, and I think that's it. So guys, this was just like a trial thing because I'm not really sure how to do um, the live thing. I'm going to try Instagram next. Um, but I'll schedule something. And don't forget about the great debate coming up with uh, the wise hypocrite, one of my close friends and family member, Jeff Painter. Um, and that is this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday. Okay. All right, Franny, since you just hopped on, I'll do a quick spirit message for you and throw one, one or two cards, okay? Put this back in here. Do this. And let's do the housewives tear it right quick. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate it. Ah, all right. So what's this? Oh, um, Franny, were you supposed to go on a trip somewhere and you're on shore? You were supposed to travel, like, go somewhere? I don't know. I got the chariot, but you weren't really sure about that? Girl, I don't do that. I don't even understand. What? Tarot cards? Oh, don't worry. It's not bad juju. It's not witchcraft. But since you jumped on and I saw you, so are you planning on going anywhere and you're like undecided type thing maybe? All right, let's tell you one more. Three of Wands. So, look, it looks like that you're just tired of the summer. You're tired of being at home. You just want to go work, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> it's like, like, look. Like, look at it. Just look at the card. You don't have to. It's just like, uh, I was going to take my son to Canoobles this weekend, but went last weekend. Okay. So, what are you going to do? Clean and stay home this weekend? Like, you don't want to, but that's what you're going to do because that's what we do. That's what moms do. <sighs> you know? That's cool. All right, let's see. Oh, oh. The star. Did you find out about someone or something doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing? Like it was a big secret, but you're like, like, you know, whether you had a dream about it or like your fucking intuition kicked in, your psychic abilities, your, oh, well, Franny, I'm home every fucking weekend too. I hear you. Okay. It's been like that for 20 some years now. I've accepted that fact. Okay. But anyway. So, I'm not sure if you found out about somebody's lies, deceptions, like you saw through somebody's stupid bullshit. You don't have to elaborate. A yes or no will just be fine. All right? Yeah. Nine of Cups. So, Cups have to do with, like, joy, love, whatever happened. It's, it's still good. Um... Everything's going to be fine. It looks like you just have a, a lot of, like, love, a lot of opportunities, a lot of growth, things like that. That's all. All right, real quick, Franny, let me do this. I, like, have all these notifications, and I don't know what any of these mean. <sighs> ah! You had one... I don't know. Do you have a fallen out with someone? Maybe. You got two. All right. So in your surroundings, you need to give yourself self-love. All right. Like loving yourself first. Look, you're a great mom. Um, you do all these heartfelt things for your kids. But you got to also take time for you. You got to find that balance. Okay. Because in your surroundings, you're already working on that. About seeing yourself in a, in a better light. You know? You need to take a night out or a night off for your friends. Yes, I know it's hard to get out of the house, blah, 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 but you need to do something for you. You do it for everybody else. You can't be at your best if you're not feeling your best. You know what I mean? Anyway, so 
fives have to do with emotions, all right? So you're feeling like there's a lack of, um, whether it be, and again, these are just examples, like maybe a lack of materials. Maybe you have this car, but you wanted a fucking brand new, whatever. You're feeling like that, but that doesn't mean that that's exactly how it is. You know what I mean? Maybe, and I don't want to say like pity. Um, it's not that. It's not that you pity yourself. It's just like, like I fucking work hard on a daily. How comes I'm not any better or I'm not better off than where I am right now? Again, I'm not saying that that's how it is, but that's how you're feeling about the situation. Like, I fucking busted my ass for 30 years and blah, 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 and I still don't have what I'm supposed to have type, type thing. I don't know, but that's not for me to decide. Anyway, one more. <sighs> Big sigh of relief, I'm not sure why. All right, so four thoughts, ideas, concepts, things like that. Um, someone's feeling stingy <laughs> with their time, whether that be you or someone else. Um, it's their thoughts of seclusion. They're feeling isolated. It's the thought of being isolated, being lonely, being stagnant, um, not stable, wanting to withdraw from whatever. So it's not necessarily how it is, but you have someone uh, around you is having these these thoughts, these misconceptions about being stagnant, something like that. Um, being materialistic, not socializing, just just withdrawn, something like that. Okay, and that's it. Anybody else got anything to ask or want to know? Because that's all I have. I don't have anybody asking me questions, so. No? All right. So then I guess I'm going to be signing off here, guys. Um, I appreciate your time, your support, your kind words, your validation. And hopefully next time I do this, like, we have more people. But I appreciate all of y'all's help. Hope, thank you. And I love you guys so, so much. And when you talk to my brother and Beth, let them know. Tell my brother that your sister is fucking awesome. I'll remind him anyway today. I'll send him a text with my Memoji thing. And you too, Jeff. Thanks, Franny. And I love you guys very much. Thank you for all your support. And that's all I got for y'all. So, deuces! <laughs>